In this tutorial we'll show you how we can create uh, contours and patterns for drilling and or milling. So I've got a, uh, a simple shape here in the CAD system so I go to the CNC icon and the first thing it does is it shows me where the datum position is which is the datum of the drawing. If I need to change it I use the set datum button here and I can change the datum to a different position. So a contour is what we use for all milling work. So we choose contour and then we have to identify the starting element that we want to create the contour on. A contour is like a polyline, it's a series of linked uh, contiguous line and arc segments. So on here you can see that it's found the line at the bottom and because my cursor is towards the right hand end of the line that's given me the start point and the direction is going around clockwise. If I move the cursor across to here I would be going around counterclockwise but in any event I can always change my mind at a later date. So I choose that line, uh, set the line thickness to something a bit thicker so I can see it and set the depth and then I get a confirmation box if it's able to create that contour correctly. What it will do there is it will check for any gap, gaps or discontinuities and then if it finds any it will allow me to heal them. OK, so that's created the contour around the outside. For drilling we need to create what we call a pattern. So we choose the pattern icon here and a pattern is a series of XY coordinates that can be drilled using the same tool. So on here I've got six holes so I'd need two patterns, one for the smaller holes and one for the larger holes. So I identify the holes in the order I want to machine them. So I choose that one first, then I choose the depth, and then the next hole in the pattern is that one, and the final hole, so that it knows that this is the final hole in the pattern, I hold down the shift key before I click. So I'm holding down the shift key and now I click and it tells me that that pattern has been created. Now we can stay in pattern mode and we can do the other pattern which is for the larger holes here. That one there and we set that for a different depth perhaps. Second position and before I hit the final position I hold down the shift key again and click. So that creates the points for drilling a pattern of holes. So if I now take that file through into machining, so we're now in the cam system, so I've got a contour around the outside and I've got those patterns for drilling. So for instance if I wanted to centre drill those, I would select the drill center drill and then I would choose that drill set the spindle speed and the feed rate and then when I come to create the can cycle for drilling I choose that so for a center drill I don't want to <coughs> use a peck drill or a deep drill cycle choose the pattern that I want if I want it to machine all patterns I just simply check that box there and then it'll machine both patterns with this drill and we might want to machine say two millimeters deep. So that does the center drilling on those. Now we choose an ordinary drill, set a diameter, select that tool for use and then drill the pattern that I want which is the first one. In this case we'll use a peck drill and we'll have a number of pecks. Now we might want a second drill, Oops. drill, larger diameter, select that tool for use, and then drill the second pattern here. And if I click reset, it picks up the depth of the holes from the CAD drawing, and again, this time I might want a deep drill cycle. So a peck drill cycle will keep the tool within the hole and it will retract a short distance. A deep drill cycle will retract the tool right out of the job between each peck. And if we look a bit in the ISO view and switch on the animation. <coughs> Part of the drilling cycle 
if we need to go back and change them is that when it moves between different holes it will retract to the feed change plane which is a default of three millimeters above the job rather than the clearance plane which is about two inches above the job but you can change that as you like okay so that's uh, created that which is fine and then just to finish off we would create uh, uh, define a milling tool select that tool for use and then tell it to do a simple go around command and set the offset to the left so we've now got a contouring operation so if I just switch off the drilling there just run that tool around <coughs> puts an arc approach movement on but you can change all of the approach in the runoffs and all the parameters in the go around dialog box there's, there, there's a lot of uh, options there for you to use but that shows you the basics of it what I'll do now though is I'll go back into the CAD system, I'll close down the CAM, save that CAM file away and then we go back into the CAM system here so if I just go through and delete all the contours and the patterns that I created earlier and I'll show you a different method of creating contours and patterns, a more automatic method so the way we did it before, I chose the contour, the start point, and then I chose the pattern, and I gave it the um, order in which I wanted to uh, machine them. But a simpler way, maybe, to use the select icon here, and drag around the area, and then go to machining, create NC, and I can either create contours, patterns, or both. So if I want to machine those holes rather than just drilling them, then they need to be created as contours as well as patterns for drilling. So I can uh, separate the contours, uh, sorry, the patterns, because what it does is it looks at the size of the holes and groups them together. So these are 12 mil holes, which can be 5 mil deep, and 20 mil holes, which can be 10 mil deep and then any contours that I create will have a depth of say 10 millimeters okay now when it's creating a contour for a circle it asks me to identify the start position so the angle of where the tool will start 0 degrees is 3 o'clock so that automatically creates contours of the outside shape, it creates a contour for each one of the holes and it also creates two patterns, one based on the smaller size drill holes and another pattern based on the other ones. So now if I go into machining, if I give this job the same name you'll see what will happen. It goes into the cam, it sees that the drawing has been modified so it will ask me if I want to reload the geometry now, I say yes. So I've got all the machining taking place that I had previously, but I've got the addition of these extra contours here, which I can use to machine using a milling cutter as opposed to a drill. And that's how you do it.